I'm Dominique and today we're going to talk about softening light with diffusion. Diffusion comes in various densities, sizes, and material. And here I have an assortment of leaf filters including opal frost, half frost, half white diffusion, full diffusion, light grid cloth, and full grid cloth. With grid cloth, it can be sewn in a large panels and is also available as a silent fabric, which doesn't make any noise in the wind. Diffusion comes in various sizes depending on your application. Here we have 21 by 14 gel sheets, four foot rolls, or if you need a larger source, a six by six silk. A light without diffusion is typically a hard source. Softness is determined by the size of the light and its distance from the subject. A diffusion panel closer to the light still produces a hard source, but moving it closer to our subject, it becomes softer. We will now demonstrate this by moving our diffusion away from the light and closer to our model. When the diffusion panel is in front of the light, the panel becomes a light source. As the panel moves closer to the subject, it becomes a larger light source. Notice how the light becomes softer when we move it closer to Ashland. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison showing no diffusion versus diffusion placed near our model. Here's a comparison of the same diffusion panel placed near the light and near our model. We're going to demonstrate six different types of diffusion on our actress Ashland. We're going to tell you the differences between exposure and white balance with each type of diffusion. Using the Sekonic C700 spectrometer, Opal measured an insignificant white balance shift of minus 25 Kelvin and has a manufacturer claim light loss of one half stop. Half soft frost measured no significant white balance shift and has a manufacturer claim light loss of one and a half stops. Half white diffusion measured an insignificant white balance shift of plus 20 Kelvin and has a manufacturer claim light loss of three quarters stop. White diffusion measured an insignificant white balance shift of minus 41 Kelvin and has a manufacturer claim light loss of one and a half stops. Light grid measured no significant white balance shift and has a manufacturer claim light loss of one and three quarters stop. Full grid measured an insignificant white balance shift of plus 21 Kelvin and has a manufacturer claim light loss of two and a half stops. I'm Dominic Gilbert. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions regarding diffusion, please come see us. I also want to take the time in thanking the beautiful Ashlyn Savage for volunteering. And we look forward to helping you out. Take care. Bye. Do that thing. Ooh.